This is lesson 4.2, example 1. We have Kylie, she's a pianist student. She practiced an eighth of her piano music this morning. And in the afternoon, she practiced three eighths of her music. What fraction of her music did she practice all together? I'm going to go out and say not enough of it because she hasn't done all of it yet. Bad Kylie. Not that I'm any better. So we're adding fractions here. One eighth plus three eighths. Now, we have one really important thing here, and that thing is a common denominator. This is a adding fractions with like denominators, which means that the denominators, numbers at the bottom, are the same. We have eighths across, which means we don't have to do anything. <laughs> it's so nice. All we have to do here is add the numerators. If the denominators are the same, we don't have to do anything to them. They stay the same. Do not add the denominators. Do not write 16 here. Do not add the denominators. Never add or subtract your denominators when you are adding or subtracting fractions. Do not do it. Add the numerators and the numerators only. 1 plus 3 is 4. This is not in simplest form and we want it to be in simplest form. We can divide both top and bottom by 4 our greatest common factor here, and we will get 1, 4 divided by 4 is 1, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So Kylie practiced half, one half of her piano music that day. Okay? Do not add your denominators, ever. Do not add your denominators. Add your numerators, only your numerators. <laughs>